Hi, I'm Ariel Grace, and today we're talking gems and minerals. <laughs> so, if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, uh, for the past month, I think, I have been posting, doing daily posts, um, holding a gem or mineral, and like giving the spiritual, metaphysical ideas about it, right? Energy, yeah. So um, one of the questions was that, um, how, where do I go to buy gem and minerals? Where's the best place? So the best place that I have found, the best places that I have found actually, um, are the gem and mineral shows, right? Um, and you can locate the gem and mineral shows through the gem, local gem and mineral clubs. Okay, so look up your county club or your city club. And it usually doesn't cost that much to join the club. Um, and the clubs are really cool because sometimes they do field trips and you get to go and dig around. <laughs> so, um, gem and mineral shows. That is the best place to buy gems and minerals. And if they are a local gem and mineral vendor, if you find a local gem and mineral ven vendor and you really like them a lot, um, you'll be able to connect with them, maybe visit with them in their warehouse or their store, and you'll be able to buy from them there, you know, locally. But that's how you can find the best gym and mineral people. Okay, second question. What's my favorite gemstone? My favorite gemstone is quartz crystal. I use quartz crystal a lot. I wear this, You, if you've done readings with me or if you've seen me out and about, you've probably seen me wearing this quartz crystal. This is the crystal I use a lot of times for readings. And um, I actually wear it a lot. And you might see it, you might not, because it might, I just might tuck it in, you know, under my shirt or whatever. But I do use it. The reason why is because quartz crystals amplify the energy, right? So they're positive energy stones and they're like batteries. <laughs> <laughs> so when I'm doing readings or and there's some really deep energy work that needs to be done during the readings, you have probably seen me like holding these crystals. Okay. So these crystals are um quartzes. And they're really cute. I love them. I've had them for a little while. Here's this one. It's a smoky. It's really cute. See how little it is? It's very powerful. I love it. Okay. This is my other one. And it's a quartz crystal. It's really pretty. I love it. And then here's my next one. Just as a, a quartz crystal. Whoops. All right, so the quartz crystals that I just showed you were a dollar. <laughs> and they were a dollar at the Gym and Mineral Show in, I think, Tampa. And in most Gym and Mineral Shows, when you walk in, the club's booth is right up front. And at the club's booth, you're going to see raw gems and minerals there, which is, that is like probably the funnest booth you will go to the entire show because there are people there that can tell you about the gem and minerals, teach you about them. Where do they come from? You know, who got them, uh, what they are. So, and you're going to see boxes there, 50 cents, a dollar, $2, $5, you know, things like that, right? And um, so you'll see that at that booth and you can get the best like specimens from those boxes. You can't, I have gotten 
lots of beautiful specimens from those boxes. If you walk around a gem and mineral show, you're going to see several booths and they will have <laughs> what they call junk boxes. It's the junk crystals <laughs> or gems and minerals. And I have gotten like awesome specimens from those junk boxes and they're like a dollar, two dollars, five dollars. <laughs> so um, I think the last really good uh, specimen was uh, a clear calcite that I had. Oh my God, so pretty. So, and I think I paid a dollar for it. It's like this big, you can really tell. It's very, a very nice clear calcite. And I was like, really? <laughs> so you don't have to spend a lot of money on your gems and minerals in order to, you know, while you're collecting. Um, unless you're gonna get gem quality. And then I recommend if you're gonna get a gem, gem quality stuff, um, make sure that you're buying from a rep, reputable dealer or somebody that you trust. It's like I have a gem quality rhodochrosite brooch or it's a pendant and I love that thing and I bought it from somebody a trusted gem and mineral dealer and uh, I wear it a lot um, and uh, it's it's very beautiful it's pink it's got that nice salmon pink color it's perfect so that's my favorite crystal. Okay, and if you want a crystal pendant, you can check out my website at arielgrace.net and click on the sacred tools tab and scroll down and you'll see quartz crystal necklaces. I always recommend them for people who do readings or Reiki or any kind of energy work only because it's an amplifier, right? So this this is like my um, my uniform <laughs> when I work. So I wear it all the time. Okay, so um, a really good book for you to check out is called Crystals by Jenny Harding. That is a great book. It has great pictures um, and it tells you what the stone is, where it comes from, it tells you how hard it is on the Mohs scale. Um, it gives you the metaphysical attributes. And it also, she also writes about like legends and folklore and stories in there. But the pictures are really awesome. That way you can have a book to help you identify what you've bought or what you're going to buy, right? Because you don't want to buy, you don't want to go to a gem and minerals show and want amethyst and end up with purple fluorite because you know they're both purple and uh so you want to know like the texture because purple fluorite you know unless it's been polished um it kind of has like a matte type of finish and amethyst does not right and amethyst is a different shape than purple fluorite so you want to be able to tell the difference, okay? And so with this, that book, Jenny Harding's book, Crystals, you'll learn a lot from that book. And there are other books too out there, but that's a book that I recommend. I've used it for years. It has really helped me. Um, I also know that the Crystal Bible um, by, I can't remember what her name is, but the Crystal Bible is also another good book. It's a good book for identifying, okay? Um, so crystals are, you know, crystals, gems, and minerals, uh, go with what you're attracted to. Cause like you might go into a show going, oh yeah, I'm going to buy a huge amethyst and stick it in the middle of my living room. Right. <laughs> but you may end up at the show and you know, looking around and ended up with a tangerine quartz because whoa, <laughs> tangerine quartz is awesome too. So go in with an open mind 
and really look around and see what is there and what you're really attracted to. Not what your friends are attracted to. Because, uh, you know, sometimes when we, when we have a variety in front of us, we can really see, like, what is out there. All right, so a lot of times, too, the vendors um, will take time with you, unless it's really busy. If it's really busy, if you come back again, to, back to that vendor again, when it's not busy, they'll take time with you and talk to you about the gems and minerals that they sell, where they come from. You know, they, they're there to, like, let you know you know, these are people that truly, that really love what they do, right? Because that's, that's what they do. Um, I was fortunate enough to live in Colorado and I met a lot of gem and mineral guys that were just awesome. And they mined their own gems and minerals, cleaned them up and brought them to the shows. And it was like, an awesome experience and uh, I learned so much from them I did and they really took the time to explain and you know tell me about their adventure I remember this one guy he found this huge piece of smoky quartz and it took him a while to dig that thing up but he had pictures of it he like some of it was broken so <laughs> <laughs> when he was pulling it out very carefully, like he had several pieces of a very huge piece of smoky quartz. And he told me all about that adventure. And it was really cool. So um, make sure to pay attention to what they're saying. Take an interest in the gems and minerals. And they'll take time with you and tell you where the pieces came from. Maybe even what mines they came from and what year they came out of the mine. Okay, so, and that would be, that'll be really, really cool for you to know the story of the gemstone that you're buying, right? To me, that's fun. Anyway, okay, so I think I answered all the questions um, that you had about gems and minerals. And so this is kind of the end of this series. Well, not really the end, but it's end of part one. So, <laughs> we'll be talking more gem and minerals as the summer goes on and as I go to different shows. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I, I'll answer them for you as best as I can. If I don't know the answer, I will find somebody who does. Okay? All right. So, have a wonderful day. And remember, keep your heart open and align with the energy of love. I'll see you next time. Bye.